Hey guys, today we will learn one of the mostly used package actions which is needed for every business in all industry. Correct. You can guess it. It's email package. In this video, we will understand connect command. Connect command is used for establishing connections to email server. This command is used with other fetching commands like uh, email loop, save attachments, save email, change status, etc. Connect command is not used with the send, forward or reply command. For fetching mails from email server, Automation Anywhere platform supports three different types of protocols that is IMF, POP3 and EWS and also it supports locally installed Outlook client. In this demo, we will go for only IMF protocol and we will establish connection with Gmail, Yahoo and Outlook 365 server. Well, let's start. So here I will search for email package and I have got email package. Now I will double click on connect command. Here we have in our matrix, we can see how we are going to implement. So here we can see that automation anywhere. We have four different protocols. Outlook client is not protocol, but yes, it is a way of fetching mails. So for IMAP, we will we will see in this demo, which is from AWS or Office 365, Gmail and Yahoo account. And for AWS, already I have created a video for connection command. You can have a look. It's in detail and how client ID and tenant ID is created. We can see here. Fine. So this video is for AWS connect command and other for other videos i will link just a second we will come to this these three sections also fine so for ews service office 365 we will start first so let's come back to our bot and here for establishing connection with outlook office 365 we need host port and already i have created username and password which i will use here and so firstly we will face these details so outlook server settings so it should be here we'll click here for imap and yes all imap informations are here so imap server name is here so let's copy it and we'll paste it here in outlook host fine and then 993 port number 993 and my username is here i have office 365 that's fine and for password already i have created a variable outlook password just for security purpose and uh, Outlook 365 is uh, secure and supports with SSSL and TLS. So we'll check this box. Already I've selected IMAP protocol here. And that's all the, the information is required. All required informations are added in connect command. Now we we have we are dragging here loop command so that we will fetch some mails and show how it works. So we'll selecting email com loop command and here i am trying to fetch from my all sub mailbox because in inbox there are many it will take time so to avoid i am just adding this i am fetching mails from all box all mail sub box and uh, here i am please i am storing this mail informations in dictionary variable email details so let's create it it's created now we'll drag a message box command and here we have message box it's drag inside loop and we are we will print only here email message nothing else so inside key in dictionary will provide this key name email subject fine and all and also we'll drag disconnect command 
uh, from email package so here it is now we have provided all outlook office 365 informations that's fine let's run this board it should fetch mails this yes we have fetched mail fine and also i will show you that here we have this mails so my user is office 365 underscore div which we are using and here inside inbox we have a sub box sub folder all so inside all all this we can see automation testing testing and one more with different subject uh, yes yeah automation anywhere finished executing so let's click and proceed for next okay so here now we are start getting that uh, automation anywhere finished executing words so we are able to fetch mails from outlook service outlook office 365.com successfully fine so this bot is successful and just for information if due to some reason you are not able to establish connection from outlook dot office 365.com then probably your username part for uh, that i'm assuming we will provide correctly then you should follow some other video for establishing connection like enabling IMAP protocol or other settings which, which are required for for fetching mails from server so you can follow my already i have video for this so this this can help i have created this video and uh, yes here all informations about uh, pre settings are required prerequisites for fetching right, mails from so server here in this we, we, you can get from here fine so now let's back to our point so here in uh, we can see, we have seen that for office it's working fine we are able to fetch mails now we'll come to gmail account so let's drag and i am commenting just uh, disabling this section uh, now i am again dragging this connect command fine email session again session name is same there is no problem so we will we will now try to connect for gmail account so i have my gmail account here i have created just a second this is my gmail account that's good so let's come here gmail account okay let's place it no problem and this host and port again we need so for host and port again we have to search here in the same way okay so gmail gmail server settings for imap let's see so here we got a new page we'll click on this and all gmail informations that is uh, server i uh, server uh, host host ip or host uh, your host url and port number we are able to see so let's paste this here host and again port is 9993 so fine and also we have here security okay password i have to provide so password password here i have i have created already a variable for this okay again gmail is a secure connections established so we'll select this checkbox fine okay again we already provided all informations and if you will see in gmail just a second second yes for gmail yes so in gmail i have created a test folder where i have two three mails fine so we'll fetch these three mails from my test folder not from inbox from inbox it's fine there are many mails so i am just avoiding to read these mails so i will fetch this inbox mail from test folder so test folder yes here i have to provide test folder that's good and i'm printing message again disconnecting so all fine let's run this pod excellent we are able to fetch mails from gmail account and here we can see the yes checking with you and community edition that's fine automate world that's also good and two-step verification fine we are able to 
fetch mails from server now back so for gmail account if you are getting any issue like invalid credentials or you are not able to establish connections after providing your valid username and password and other informations so fine again we have we are done with gmail also and we are able to fetch mails now we'll come to yahoo so let's come here and I'm, I'm just disabling this action and again dragging a new connect command and this time we have to search for yahoo so again in the same way let's search for yahoo server side settings for imap and uh, yes here we have imap so just this is my imap server ip host so here again 993 same one for port and password is here mm, uh, it is same one as gmail just prefix is changed so let's copy this mm -hmm. yes at the rate yahoo.com and my password is here again i've created a variable for this selecting the secure app and that's all and i'm trying to fetch from my inbox test not test folder but from somewhere else just a second so no 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 yes so i am trying to fetch mails from my inbox so i will just i will just remove this test folder and i will write inbox that's good and again same i'm i am store i'm storing in this dictionary variable emails informations and printing subject one by one so let's run this again excellent we are able to fetch mails from yahoo account you can see that mail gmail test yeah mail from gmail test account that's good and welcome to yahoo excellent so yes excellent we are able to fetch mails from yahoo account through imap protocol successfully and just for information that uh, this password is actually not the same password which we log in through our web browser it's a different password and it's called app password and for app password again uh, some steps are required we have to make some changes we have in our account we have to generate uh, this app password and this passwords all in this informations i have created here in this video for yahoo so you uh, you can get it from here and if you are getting any error then you should follow to this video to create your app password in your yahoo account so all these connections all these informations i will add in description area please follow uh, yahoo is also done and this i will create i i will create video for other protocols like for pop3 ew ew is already done and outro client thanks for watching my video we will see you in my next video thanks